Who here went to the movies recently, last couple days? Yeah, anybody? anybody? I saw, I saw uh, Shit Part 2. Yeah? Anybody? Shit? No, it's just it. It's not good. Uh, that said, I love going to the movies, and a big bummer is I cannot take one of my favorite people with me to the movies. One of my favorite people, because I'm a good boy, my mom. Uh, absolutely love her, but she is the most disruptive person in the movie to one person, me. It's not that she like makes exclamations at people or anything like that. She just is constantly in my ear, whispering the whole time, right? It starts off in the previews. Like I, It's been a long time since we've gone. It's been nine years. So I vividly, vividly recall it was uh, a trailer for Predators, the reboot with Adrian Brody. And like they drop him in on the planet, and at one point, like the predator dots appear on him, and then there's another predator dots, and beep, 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 And my mom just looks at me and goes, I don't, I don't like this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a trailer for Eat, Pray, Love, and Julia Roberts is like being instructed by a yogi to go follow her dreams, and then she goes to every single place my mom always dreamed of going on vacation, and she's eating exotic food, she's riding an elephant, she leans over. I, I really like this sort of thing. We're gonna go see this movie. And then it was a trailer for Fast Five, right? And there's like sex and fucking cars and The Rock and Vin Diesel go through a desk! And mom just looks at me, makes intense eye contact and says, I do not like this. So then the movie starts. And it already started terribly because I took her to see Inception. I'm not sure if you've ever taken a 58-year-old woman to see Inception, but don't. Just don't. So, again, it's not that she disrupts other people. She makes declarative statements to me to make sure she knows what's going on, right? So the movie starts... That's Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, Mom, that's Leo. Oh, okay. He played Alfie. Yeah, that's Michael Caine. He played Alfie. Oh, okay. Is that Leo's wife? Yeah, it, it's Leo's dead wife. Wait, when did she die? Earlier in the month, just watch the movie. Is that the girl from Juno? <laughs> yeah, that's Ellen Page. She played Juno. I, I didn't like that sort of thing. She, she should have kept the baby at the end of the movie. If, if I had held you in my hands and looked down at you, I never, I never could have given you up for adoption. You're my sweet boy, and I just, just watch Inception, Ma! <laughs> so then she stops talking, and I get very, very nervous. Because I feel like I'm going to have to explain the entire plot of Inception to a 58-year-old woman. And I'm not sure I know the fucking plot of Inception. <laughs> so the credits roll, Inception, directed by Christopher Nolan. And I look at her, and she looks at me. She says... So the spinning top at the end of the movie represents the ambiguity of whether we're in the real world or the world of the dream that manifests itself as reality. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the boy from Angels in the Outfit. <laughs>